Hey guys, welcome back to DT Light channel. So in this video, we are going to see how to upload files using Spring Boot in Java. So whenever you want to upload files of any format like JPG or PNG or DVC file format, you can make use of this video and do that. So let's get started with the video. First, you need to create a Spring Boot project. For that, either you can use Spring uh, Initializer plugin or Spring Tool Suite. Here, I have already created Spring Boot project. So this is my folder structure. First, let's have a look at pom file. You have to make sure that Spring Boot Starter Web dependency is included in your pom file because this is the only dependency which I'm going to use in this application. Next, let's see application.properties file. As you can see here, I have mentioned the port number as 8090 and I'm going to use multi-part feature which is available in the Spring for saving your file. I have declared the request size as 1000 MB and the maximum file size as 1000 MB. You can change this accordingly, like depending upon your project requirement. Next, let's create an interface for declaring your methods. First, let me create a method in it. So this method is responsible for creating a folder to save your file contents. And next, I'm going to create a method delete. So what this method will do is that it will be deleting your folder whenever you rerun your application and it will be creating newly. Next, let me create a method save. So this method will be accepting file of the type multipart file. So this method is responsible for uploading your file contents into your folder. So that is all with this interface guys. Now let's create a class which will be implementing this interface. So here I'm going to implement the interface file service. So now let's implement the methods here. First, let's create a folder for saving your file contents. For that, I'm going to create a folder private final path paths dot I'm going to make use of Java NIO package paths dot get off let me name the folder as uploads so that is all here this is how you have to create a folder next let's let me uh, try to include try catch block here because this method will be throwing a runtime exception. So inside this try block, let's create a directory, files dot create directory, and then you have to pass the folder path. And this method will be throwing an exception that file path is not created. I have already declared the message in message constants class. As you can see here, file path not created message is included here. So I'm going to make uh, this message available there. So here I'm going to make use of that throw new runtime exception message constants dot file path not created. So that is all with this init method guys. Next, we'll move on to delete method. So this delete method will be deleting your folder whenever you rerun your application and it will be creating newly. So I'm going to make use of file system utils dot delete recursively. Inside that, I'm going to pass the folder path. This is how you have to delete your folder. Next, in the save method, I'm going to make use of try catch block again because this will be throwing a runtime exception. So inside this try block, I'm going to copy the file contents. So files dot copy. Inside that, I'm going to fetch the input stream. Get input stream, comma this dot root dot resolve inside this I'm going to get the original name file dot get original name so that is all guys so this is all with the save method 
and it will be throwing our runtime exception here. So what this method will be throwing is that file is not created. So I have already included the message in this class. So file not created message. I'm going to make use of that here. So throw new runtime exception message constant start file not created. So that is all with this class. Now let's move on to the important part of our application, which is file controller class. Let me delete everything to show you again. So this class is annotated with rest controller because it will be accepting rest endpoints. So here I'm going to auto wire our file service class. file service let me auto wire it now let me create an endpoint which is of type post method post mapping inside this I am going to create an endpoint say upload now let's write a method which is of type response entity and this response entity will be accepting response message. So here I have created a class wherein message is uh, displayed. So this method will be throwing a response message. So here let me include that response message and let's create a method name upload files. And now let's make use of request param annotation. Request param and the key name will be files. Since this method will be accepting either one file or multiple files, let's keep it as files. And this method will be accepting multi-part file. Let's create an array and files. Inside this method, I'm going to create a message. Now let's create try catch block because this method will be throwing a runtime exception. Inside this try block, I'm going to create a list for saving your file contents. List string going to use array list this is just for storing purpose now let's iterate the files so i'm going to use arrays dot as list you can use normal for loop also files i'm going to use dot stream dot for each inside this files let me rename this as file and here I am going to save the content file.save of file now let's copy the contents to our list files.add inside this I am going to get the original name so that is all so what this will do is that it will be saving your files into the folder so let's try to pass the message I am going to frame a message here that is file is being uploaded I have already declared that in our uh, message constants class file uploaded so I'm going to make use of that here message constant start file uploaded and then I'm going to append the list so here I'm going to return response entity dot status inside this I have to use HTTP status as ok 
because this will be a success message dot body inside this I'm going to throw the message message and in the catch block I'm going to frame again a message which will be a failure one so message constant star file fail upload and I'm going to return it response entity dot status and this will be your failure one so HTTP status dot it will be expectation failed and then inside the body I'm going to pass the message response message inside this the message so all done guys so this is how you have to create a method for uploading your files now let's go to our main application here so this class should be implementing command line runner and then I'll be implementing the method run so here I have to file service file service so I have to annotate this file service as resource so here I have to call delete all first and then I have to initialize the folder structure so that is all guys now let's go and run our application for that you can give mbn clean package post success message now let's try to give mvn spring boot run so that is all now let's go there and check in our postman so i have to select uh, the body tab and then i have to choose form data here and I have to give the key name as files. Now I'm going to select the files which has to get uploaded. Now let's try to hit the send button here. That is all. So as you can see here, you are getting a success message as file is uploaded. Now if you go there and check in our folders, that is like uploads folder, you can see here that the file has been uploaded into your uploads folder so this is all about this video guys so hope you all enjoyed my video and in my next video i'm going to see how to download the files from my folder hit the like button share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you all in my next video bye